Hi, I'm Pete Brown from Clever Touch. Today I'm going to talk about CleverShare. CleverShare is a way of wirelessly casting your devices to the Clever Touch screen. We've been making CleverShare for quite a while now, but we've just actually updated it to give it a lot of new features. So I'm going to get into them in a second, but I'll show you now how to connect your devices on CleverShare. If you have a laptop or a Mac and you want to download the software, simply go to clevertouch.com, go to the software section, and the latest app is ready to download. If you have a tablet or a phone, just go to the conventional app stores and download the app from there. I'm actually sharing my desktop here so you'll see what the app looks like when it's open. All it's got is six lines. In CleverShare, we've got six numbers. So as long as my device is on the same network as the CleverShare, I can just open up the app, I can type in that six digit number, press start mirroring, I'm up to the screen. So that's one way of doing it. What you can also do is we have an advanced code mode. Now what that is, is a way of connecting to the screen on dual modes, so dual networks. So I can press this button, it will change it from a six digit number to a nine digit code, giving it more encryption. You can then have potentially a corporate network and a subnet of that, which could be a guest network, where people can walk in and connect on both networks. There's a document out there we've got that can actually help you set that up. So if you need that information, give us a shout for that. I'm going to put it back to six at the the moment, back to six. There are other ways of connecting to the screen. If you don't want to put a network at all, you can, we've got a hotspot built into the screen. So you could put your device on a hotspot, put the screen on the hotspot, and connect to the screen with no network involved at all. The other option we've got is it supports Chromecast and AirPlay. We have a swipe button there that will actually make that live. So it means if you've got natively AirPlay or Chromecast on your device, you can just connect to the screen without even using the app. So let's connect a couple of devices. So if I go across to my laptop now and type in that number 233037, what that does, it takes me to the front page of this. It gives me two options. The first option is start mirroring. The second option is desktop syn synchronization. Now what we do first of all is just mirror to the screen. If I press start mirroring, it gives me the option, do I want to share my whole desktop or do I want to share a particular document or file? Say for instance, I want to just put up a PowerPoint presentation, but I still want to work on my laptop at the same time, you can do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my complete desktop and mirror that up to the screen and you'll suddenly see my laptop's up there. But what you can do with this new firmware is you can actually have up to six devices on the screen at one time in split screen. So say for instance I wanted to have a Mac up here. Suddenly I've got a Mac on the screen. If I then want to have another laptop, I could have a laptop, now I've got three devices. And then a tablet, I want to connect the tablet to the screen, I've suddenly got four devices. And if even this, this tablet I've got in my hand here, if I wanted to connect this to the system, I could say clever share, taking that number, 233037, and I could then stick up an image of me in the pub, which I don't do anymore. Um, also, what you can do with the app, if you've got it on a, a tablet or a phone, you don't have to just show images up there. Say, for instance, you wanted to have a document camera within the room. You can do that with your phone. So you can put the app, press the camera, and suddenly what you're doing is you're showing something live happening with your phone, with the camera. So we'll stick that on just an image at this moment in time. So I want to show you a couple of other things. Within the Clever Share, we have a snipping tool. So for instance, if I go into here and I capture me looking happy sitting in the pub, I can press that, that'll take that, I'll capture that, I'll stick that directly into my whiteboard, and I've actually got me up there looking happy. Now to get back to those shares dev devices on the screen, I don't have to go back to my devices and press one by one, let's connect again. I'm going to the icon at the top here, press 
screens and I'm back in here again. What I've also got in here, I've also got touch. So what I could do potentially is I could open up this video and I'm playing a video. And I can do, have touch on all my Macs or laptops. So it's very easy to control from there as well. If I want to disconnect people from you, yes, you can disconnect from the screen from your device itself, but I can also just close things down from here. So I can just close the ones I'm not using off the screen as simple as that. So that's me there doing that. If I wanted to show the other side of it, so if I go back into the app again for a second and I stop mirroring, it gives me desktop sync. Desktop sync is a way of wirelessly casting the screen back to your device. We've always been able to do that with one tablet device before, but now we can actually do it back to several devices. It doesn't have to be a tablet either. It could be a laptop and Mac included in that. So if, for instance, I go through and just show you my desktop of Clever, you'll see it's changing on there. I can also go into my iPad here and change and connect that way as well. So you've seen that on there. So for instance, if I go into an image, I can then, what happens when I, when I go into desktop sync, it also has this toolbar that appears. And this toolbar has a few features on there. One is a pen, so I can simply draw using the pen there. I could actually change the color on my device and I could be drawing in a different color. I could do the same from a laptop as well. Within here, I can erase that information, I can clean the annotation altogether, or I can also save this. So I want to save this and put this into a folder in the Clever Touch. I can do that and then distribute it afterwards. But what I can also do is I can insert this whole page directly into the whiteboard. So by pressing that, that takes it into the same whiteboard session that I had opened a second ago when I put my image up there. And suddenly I've got two things in the whiteboard session. But what I can also do, if we want to go into a document, I can go into a PDF. And imagine if you've got people within the room all to work, want to work on the same document. I'm standing at the front of the room and I'm walking in here and I'm drawing over a document. Equally, I can do the same thing from a device. And even from a laptop, I can go into there and I can select the mouse and just go into it at the same time. And just to show that I can, I can then save that back to, insert that, sorry, into the Clever Touch whiteboard. And so we now have all three things that I've been working on, all on one page. Now what's good about this is we, if we're working away and we're doing certain things on here and da 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 da, you're working with something, you want to distribute that information to them. You can share this as well. So I can go into this toolbar and you have a share button. In the share button, if I press that, it shows me everybody that's connected. And say, for instance, I wanted to send this information, this screenshot to them. I could select all of them, or I could select the ones I want to send it to. So what we're going to do is we select my iPad and my laptop and just send that across. You'll then see a message like this, for instance, saying, do you want to accept, do you want to reject? Same's happening on here on my iPad. I'll accept that. Once I accept that, that goes into your photos, your library, and you can actually access that anytime you want to do that. So that's basically Clevershare. If you want to know more about that, please contact us. You can email us at info at clevertouch.com, or alternatively, you can go into clevertouch.com, the website, and get more information from there. Thank you for your time today.